Uh, tourists do not read the Financial Times, so they don't, they don't get affected by the trading concerns and market situations. So when you invest in timber, 65 to 75 percent of your investment will be realized by, by the logical growth of the timber. And this is an invariably positive action that only timber as an asset class can offer. Now 25 to 30 percent is realized on the, on the market price increase. So if you invest in timber today, what will the price be 10 or 16 years when we are harvesting? Historically, the price of timber has been rising between 7 to 12 percent over the last 25 years. Timber as an asset class, if you compare it to the returns of the Standard & Poor's uh, Lehman Brothers, which unfortunately will not be in any other graph, you can look at the returns. Timber are always uh, on a higher, uh, almost double than what Standard & Poor's is. If you look at the recent market data, uh, this is from the first quarter of 2011, the demand of timber has been rising. It's been rising in the US, in Japan, in China, and in Europe. One of the added benefit of timber is that timber is a non-correlated asset. So when normally when you're correlated with other asset classes, if there's an issue in any other asset class, your investment will suffer. But timber is a non-correlated investment to other asset classes. And that's why timber is known to be a portfolio stabilizer. If there was any, if you have in your portfolio investments in the housing market, if you have investments in gold, if you have investments in uh, pharmaceutical companies, like the experience that we had in 2008 with the financial crisis, most of everybody's portfolio went down, especially if it's a portfolio that is basically based uh, from the financial markets. Timber being non-correlated, it can give you a hedge on your, on your portfolio. It can stabilize your portfolio because it's not correlated to any other asset. Now, investing in, in timber will off, offer you a diversification. It's an alternative investment. Uh, as I said, if you have in your portfolio, you invest in various industries, diversifying your portfolio will stabilize, will give you more security in your investment. As I mentioned before, it has an inflation hedge. Timber historically has always beaten inflation by 2%. And in addition to this, it's a green investment. So it offers your investment as a company or as a person, it gives you an SROI, which is a sustainable return on investment. Uh, most companies in, uh, in, Latin, in, La in Latin America, in North America, and in Europe, some of them nowadays are investing in, in timber for the moral, moral responsibility for the social, so social matters, which nowadays are just a moral, a moral investment. But very shortly, it will be in legislation. Uh, for example, in a company, if you invest, you will have to compensate uh, any emissions that you generate, investing in timber can offer this to a company as well. Now, our company, EcoForest, EcoForest, we're a boutique forestry investment company. Uh, where our headquarters are in uh, Spain and in Canada. We have offices across Europe, North America, and uh, now here in Israel. We manage high-class tropical pl uh, plantations in Latin America on behalf of our retail, institutional, and private clients worldwide. Now, as I presented before, timber as an asset class, it, it gives very positive perspectives for the future, for the lucrative returns that this investment can provide and the security that it has. In addition to that, you have to always consider, if you're going to invest in timber, who are you going to invest with? Is the company that you're investing with a secure company? Who is this company is? Who are the managers of this company? And I'm here to provide you with that information. EcoForest has been investing in Latin America for over 40 years. This company was founded uh, by a consortium of an aristocratic family in Spain who has managed uh, investments in Latin America over 40 years. They manage over 16 companies. Uh, that they have some companies who are publicly traded and a very proven track record. Um, our investment and experience, obviously, in Latin America is, isn't for investors because investing in Latin America is slightly different than investing uh, overseas, investing in Europe or investing in North America. A 
as a, as a forestry company, we're vertically integrated. Being vertically integrated basically defines that we have our own nurseries, we have our certified nurseries, our certified plantations, our sawmills, and we also have our uh, timber exporting division. In our, our business, uh, we offer insurance into the entire project. What this means basically when you invest in a, in a project with EcoForest, it's a long-term project, it's a turnaround period of 16 years, which is fully insured. From the beginning of the investment to maturity, there is insurance in place uh, for the project on any, anything what we call an act of God. If there's a fire, a flood, an earthquake, a volcano eruption, there's insurance in place for the investment. In addition to that, we, we offer a replacement guarantee. At the beginning, from year one to year four, those are the most detrimental uh, period of planting a tree. That is the moment when the trees are very susceptible to pests, to insects. As a company, we invest and we have a mirror plantation. So whenever an investor invests in our company, we invest equal amount in a mirror plantation. They, this guarantees that if anything were to happen to a plantation within the first four years, we have a, a mirror plantation which will offer a replacement guarantee of trees of the same age. In addition to that, uh, as I said, the, the returns, the, the market demand looks very promising for the timber industry. One of the downsides that people would say, why would I not invest because it's long term. It's, it's a 16 year turnaround cycle. We as a company have developed a secondary market. The secondary market gives you added liquidity to your investment. So if in, in the third or fourth year you need the money more than the trees, we have a secondary market in place that assists you in, in being able to trade your investment. And this is an added benefit uh, on investing in timber. As a company, we manage over 70 plantations uh, in Latin America, <coughs> Costa Rica, Argentina, and Honduras. We have over 750 uh, clients worldwide, over 5 million uh, trees planted, and over uh, 1.5 million trees that will be planted uh, this year. All of our projects are fully certified by the FSC and GAP. Is anybody familiar with the FSC? FSC is the Forestry Stewardship Council. This is the symbol of the FSC. If to, nowadays you buy a Christmas card, you buy a book, you look at the back, you'll see an FSC certificate, an FSC symbol. The FSC symbol stands for the Guidelines of Protecting the Forest. Nowadays, if you're gonna purchase timber, you're gonna import timber from Latin America, you're gonna import timber from Africa, before it enters into Europe, before it enters into North America, it needs to have that stamp. If it doesn't have the stamp, it means it doesn't come from sustainable forests. The FSC is a non-governmental organization based in uh, Bonn, Germany, which makes sure that the harvesting of timber is being done sustainably worldwide. So as a project like us, in which we plant trees and we manage trees, all of our plantations are certified by FSC. And this assures that we have a certain <coughs> chain of custody to har harvest our timber and sell it worldwide to the market. EcoForest is a forestry management company. Our plantations are in Costa Rica, Argentina, and Honduras. All of our, uh, sorry, all of our plantations manage the FSC guidelines. Our offices are located in uh, Birmingham, Belfast, Lisbon, Madrid, Alicante, Sweden, and Toronto. Now, why invest in Latin America? Why invest in Latin America? One of the first things of investing in timber is the productivity. A tree grows based on how much sunlight it receives, how much rainfall it receives, and the climate conditions where it, the trees are planted. This is a chart uh, provided by uh, UBS. If you plant a teak tree in Canada, and you plant it at the same time in Brazil, it will grow 30 times faster in Brazil. That means that the productivity of that tree will be 30 times better if you invest in Brazil. Now this gives you just an 